We've all been there. You're casually scrolling through social media, maybe just to pass the time or catch up with friends. Suddenly, an ad catches your eye. It's something tempting, something you didn't even know you wanted until now. Perhaps it's the latest gadget that promises to make your life easier, or a weekend getaway that looks too good to pass up. Without much thought, you find yourself clicking the buy now button. It's so easy, almost too easy to make these impulsive purchases. These small, seemingly insignificant purchases can add up quickly, draining your bank account over time. It's like a slow, steady leak in your finances that you barely notice until it's too late. This essay is your guide to identifying and plugging those financial leaks. We'll delve into the common traps and how to avoid them. We'll explore practical habits that can transform your relationship with money. From mindful spending to setting up a budget, these tips can make a big difference. You work hard for your money, it's time to make it work harder for you. Imagine what you could achieve if you redirected those small, unnecessary expenses into savings or investments. Are you ready to take control of your finances? It starts with awareness and a commitment to change. Let's dive in and discover how you can take charge of your financial future, one small step at a time. You can't fix what you don't track. It's essential to have a clear picture of your financial situation. The first step to financial freedom is understanding where your money is going. By tracking your spending, you gain insight into your financial habits. Use a budgeting app, a spreadsheet, or even a good old-fashioned notebook. Categorize your expenses into different sections like groceries, entertainment, and utilities. This helps you see exactly where your money is being spent. You might be surprised by what you find. Often, small, unnoticed expenses can add up quickly. Once you see the numbers, you can identify areas to cut back. Maybe it's those daily coffee runs or frequent dining out. Maybe you're spending too much on takeout. Cooking at home can be a healthier and more cost-effective option. Perhaps you can downgrade your cable package. Streaming services might offer a more affordable alternative. Knowledge is power when it comes to your finances. By tracking your spending, you empower yourself to make informed decisions, set realistic goals, and ultimately achieve financial stability and growth. We live in a world of instant gratification. It's easy to get caught up in the cycle of wanting more. Learning to distinguish between needs and wants is crucial. Do you need that new pair of shoes or do you just want them? Saying no to impulsive purchases can be tough at first, but the feeling of empowerment and control over your finances is worth it. Delay gratification. Save up for the things you truly value. The 30-day rule is a simple but a way to curb impulse spending. When you're taking financial purchase, wait 30 days before buying it. Write it down, research it, and really think about it. Often, the initial desire to buy will fade. You'll realize you don't need it after all. And if you still want it after 30 days, you can make a more informed decision. Section 5. Habit 4. Cook more, eat out less. Savory savings at home. Eating out is convenient, but it can also be a major drain on your budget. Challenge yourself to cook more meals at home. Meal planning and prepping can save you time and money. Plus, cooking at home is often healthier. Invite friends over for potlucks instead of expensive restaurant meals. Turn grocery shopping into a fun outing by visiting farmer's markets or joining a CSA. The snowball effect small changes, big results. You might be thinking, do these small changes really make a difference? Absolutely, it's the snowball effect in action. Small, consistent habits compound over time leading to significant financial gains. Imagine saving an extra $50 a week by cooking at home and bringing your lunch to work. That's $2,600 a year. These small wins add up, creating momentum for larger financial goals. Section 7. Real Life Transformations From Drowning in Debt to Financial Freedom Countless people have transformed their lives by implementing these simple habits. Take Sarah, for example. She was drowning in credit card debt. The stress was overwhelming, and she felt like there was no way out. But Sarah decided to take control of her finances. By tracking her spending meticulously, cutting back on unnecessary expenses, and cooking more meals at home instead of dining out, she managed to pay off her debt in just two years. It wasn't easy, but her determination paid off. Or consider John, who had always dreamed of buying a house but didn't think he could ever afford it. The dream seemed distant and unattainable. John decided to take a different approach. 
By automating his savings, negotiating his bills to reduce monthly expenses, and finding creative ways to supplement his income, such as freelancing and selling unused items, he was able to reach his goal in just a few years. His dream of owning a home became a reality through consistent effort and smart financial habits. These are just two examples of the power of simple financial habits, but there are countless others who have achieved similar success. By making small, consistent changes, anyone can transform their financial situation. Financial literacy workshops and online resources can provide valuable guidance and support. Learning about budgeting, saving, and investing can empower individuals to take control of their finances. Setting clear financial goals and creating a plan to achieve them is crucial. Whether it's paying off debt, saving for a major purchase, or building an emergency fund, having a roadmap can make the journey less daunting. Community support groups and online forums can also be incredibly helpful. Sharing experiences and tips with others who are on a similar journey can provide motivation and accountability. Celebrating small milestones along the way can keep you motivated. Each step forward, no matter how small, is a victory worth acknowledging. Regularly reviewing your financial progress and adjusting your plans as needed can help you stay on track. Flexibility and persistence are key to long-term success. Ultimately, the journey from drowning in debt to financial freedom is about empowerment. It's about taking control of your financial destiny and building a future where you feel secure and confident. Remember, financial freedom is not just a destination, it's a journey. And with the right habits and mindset, anyone can achieve it. Section 8. Your journey to financial freedom starts today. Financial freedom is within your reach. It's not about being rich, it's about having control over your money and your life. Start by implementing one or two of these habits today. Track your progress, celebrate your wins, and don't be afraid to ask for help along the way. Remember, you are capable of achieving your financial goals. It takes time, effort, and consistency. But the rewards are worth it. Section 9. Conclusion. Take control of your finances and live your dreams. Thank you for joining me on this journey to financial wellness. By adopting these simple yet powerful habits, you can unlock your savings, pay off debt, and achieve your financial dreams. Remember, it's not about deprivation, it's about making conscious choices that align with your values and goals. Now take action. Start small, stay consistent, and watch your financial future transform. You've got this.